From a prison riot that left two inmates dead to numerous corrections officers assaulted in recent months, Nebraska's correctional system has its share of problems. And while prisons are overcrowded, there's a shortage of staff. If we don't have full staffing and we have a lot of vacancies, that's an inmate safety issue. Um, it's a it's a definitely a worker safety issue. And, and then at the end of the day, that's a public safety issue. Doug Kobernick is the state's first inspector general of corrections, appointed by the legislature last year. In his first TV interview, he says his first six months have been focused on surveying the department's 2,300 employees. From the 600 who have responded, he says the data is alarming, especially with turnover rates at the prison in Tecumseh. Nearly 70 percent for frontline staff like security and 59 percent for caseworkers in 2015. So when you have a high period or high rate of turnover, um, you know, you have new people coming in, there's a cost to training and everything like that. Kobernick says other facilities across Nebraska, like the State Pen in Lincoln and Correctional Center in Omaha, also have issues. 29 percent don't feel they could approach a supervisor with concerns. 50 percent don't know where the department is headed at this time. But the inspector general says getting this feedback will help improve their outlook. Kobernick says the results of his survey helped the department get $1.5 million. Starting in July, that money will be used toward recruitment and retention of employees. We have a lot of great people that are pretty passionate about that and I learned that from going out and visiting all the facilities. Well, Chin joins us now and Chin, obviously negative aspects to the report. What about positive things? Did we learn something from it? We did. Actually, the inspector general just met with the head of human resources for corrections today. and He says she told him there's a slight decrease in turnover rates for over the past few months. But there is still a lot of work to be done when it comes to retention and recruitment. For example, the State Employees Union tells me there's not enough incentives for these staff members to stay. The union rep says those with the same title are paid the same, regardless of educational background or how long they've been there. Wow. So this will keep continuing, I, I imagine. Chindone reporting live with a big story. Thanks.